this is kind of weird because usually when we're all in the same studio together, it's about something funny and lighthearted. Either Jason and I taking the piss out of Georgia and PJ. Like, it's, don't, it's... don't lower the quality content that's normally <laughs> on our show. <laughs> How dare you do that? You're right. It is a bit odd. Normally we're, we're uh, lighthearted. We're laughing. Yeah. But this bit, is a serious topic. A little bit serious. So tonight we've got Stop the Hate, a cyberbullying special for Sealed Section. And we, we've been talking to a lot of people like Max Key, Liam Martin, some Shortland Street stars. And we thought we'd talk to you guys because... You know, you've both had individual radio careers before you became the Jason PJ show. So, like for you, Jason, for you, PJ, do you remember the first time you read something online about yourselves that was rather negative and like how it made you feel? Yeah, I, you know, first I'm going to say it is a serious topic. I think, look, we can be lighthearted the way we deal with it as long as everyone gets out. You know, the clear message. When we first started working together, PJ, you. Paige would look at all comments, wouldn't mm. you? Oh, I would take everything to heart. I'd read every comment and be like, well, they don't like me. I'm not doing a good job. If they don't like me, then psh, why am I talking? And it, might be, yeah. and it might be one comment. We yeah. might have like 80 comments on a video we posted up. It'll be one video and I'll tell you, you're right. Yeah, I'm good. And I could tell something. It would throw me off for the whole show. If I read a negative comment about myself, I guess because on the radio, your performance is based on your personality. And if someone says something negative about you, then you question everything you're doing. Yeah. But really... When you think about it, that person ha should have no impact on you because they're sitting at home, they're writing behind a computer, and they would never, in the light of day, actually say those comments to your you face. You know what we've started doing, and this is like, they'll come through on the text machine, not necessarily on social and stuff, but if people like rip into us and be like, piss off you fat Aussie, go back to Australia, or no one wants to hear from you, Paige and I have started ringing those people up. We call it converting listeners nice i thought it was converting callers but it's converting just converting complaints, <laughs> converting complaints. There you go. Go. Um, that sounds like a completely different phrase. segment <laughs> but we'll ring them up and nine times out of ten and the reason we ring them is because we go a we don't want anyone hating the show so b if we can convert them and say look what is it that i've said that's going to piss you off maybe we can change that um and nine times out of ten when we ring them they'll be like hello and we'll go hey it's jason pj oh and we'll go hey we got your message and nine times out of ten, they'll be like, oh, sorry, I was having a shit day, got in the car, heard your voice, so I thought I'd take it out on you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if we never mm. rang them back, um, people who are affected by messages like that, like mm. Paige, I don't care anymore because I don't read the stuff, but mm. um, you'd go home going, God, well, they hate me. Like, I was so glad we rang them back because they were like, oh, no, it wasn't you guys, we were just having a shit day. Yeah. I don't think people realise they'll type a message, they'll send it off, he goes off, gets in his car, goes home, makes dinner, he does not realise the impact that that message has on anyone. And I don't think that's what people realise when they type stuff. No, not have, at all. have you ever been affected to the point where you didn't want to come into work one day? Like to the point where you read it before you started work and then you were just like, that's actually really cut me deep. Um, I did a TV show back in Oz and I remember reading some comments about it and people were ripping into it. And I, I still wanted to go to work, but the problem was I even then I didn't start believing in it. I was like, yeah, it is shit. Maybe it's not good. That's the thing. As it's terrible. As... And then I start believing it and then I put no care into it. And then, yeah. and then surprise, surprise, it did go to shit. That's it though. A negative comment starts making you doubt everything you do. And sometimes I will read a comment. I don't know. Maybe it will be before the show. We've got something on our Facebook page and I'll see it. And then I'll just, my confidence will go from here down to here because I don't know if I'm not pleasing them. Then, But I've changed my mentality over the last year and a half, I think. And Delta Goodrum had a really good chat with you when Delta was in. I've known her for years and she came in last year on the show and we did a recorded interview and then I think she had like 15 minutes till our next interview and she was chatting, she was just hanging around. And I said to her, hey, can you talk to PJ about social stuff? Because she copped it so hard. Mm. Yeah. And she'll be the first to tell you that when mm. she was over in LA and people were just ripping on her, she would be in tears in her apartment wanting to quit and everything. And she was the one that told PJ, just... Don't read it. You know what you're going to get. If mm. you sit there and go, okay, I'm going to check social today about what they said about me, you can't be shocked if there's something negative. Yeah, there's so much negativity in the world of media. But the sad thing is that that's just the beginning of it. It's everyday people, you know, people at schools. That's the thing that terrifies me. Are these young kids going to school and people are sending these messages and they don't have to be held accountable because, I don't know, it's online and they can just hide behind their keyboard. But how do these young kids know how to deal with it? I'm surprised people type the stuff and it's linked to their Facebook account. Yeah. yeah. I sit there and read the comment and go, hey, dickhead, I can click on your Facebook yeah. account. Yeah. And I go, what are you doing? Like, I know everything about you. And <laughs> I could tell now it's going to come back to bite them when they go for a job too.